Hey everyone, it's Mark. I wanted to give an update on my last video about full self-driving hardware 2.5 versus 3.0. Really the fact that I don't have hardware 3.0. I still have hardware 2.5. My last video was really just complaining about the fact that I don't have 3.0. Without hardware, full self-driving hardware 3.0, you don't get things on your... I'm not driving now, so you can't really see everything, but um, visualizations would show up um, as you're driving, like uh, stop signs, traffic lights, uh, construction cones, really cool things like that. For now, that's all they really have, the only features available for that hardware, and make that hardware... Um, uh, really something that you want right so somebody in the video uh, in the comments of my video said hey just uh, put in a, a request a service request to Tesla to get this latest hardware right so oh, great idea so I did and set up an appointment with Tesla they sent back a text confirming it hey fantastic and then maybe uh, a week or so later, I get texts. I'll, I'll put them up saying, hey, this is Tesla service. Uh, in the process of reviewing your concern prior to your appointment, unfortunately, your vehicle is not available for 3.0 retrofit at this time. We are releasing them in waves, and your VIN is not eligible at this time. Uh, check back in a couple months. So uh, I'm really depressed. <laughs> I mean, it's it's not just that I can't see the uh, stop signs and traffic lights, all those cool things. You know, as these new features are made available, software features made available for these cars, um, I'm left out, right? Like everybody else with, with hardware 2.5, I'm continuously left out. So uh, I don't want to be left out. I do see videos, though, very recently where people are getting the upgrades. You know, they're they're going to the service centers. Uh, they're also putting in requests. So it's only been uh, maybe three weeks or so since my last request. They said to wait two months, so I think I'm probably going to put it in today. <laughs> you know, two months, three, four weeks. So uh, what's the difference? Anyway, um yeah, and then I think my last text here. We will cancel your appointment for the time being because, my, oh, that's right. My plan was, um, you know what, I'm just going to pretend I didn't get that text and show up at the service center and see if they would uh, put the hardware in anyway. And so, yeah, about a week later, they say, hey, by the way, we're canceling your request. So, uh, you know, we don't care what you do. <laughs> You're not coming. Or you can come, but no, we're not. We're not going to do anything for you. So anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to put another request in and uh, see what happens. Okay, hopefully one final update. I was denied again. Uh, one of my other videos, I had a issue with my uh, camera here with condensation forming um, under the glass. And I'm getting a lot of glare there. Uh, and it, anyway, I was getting uh, uh, an error inside the um, self-driving wouldn't work. So I thought, hey, opportunity, fix the, you know, call up service, put up, put another service appointment in, uh, have them take a look at that, hopefully fix it. Uh, it doesn't happen often, but uh, it's happened two or three times now since I've owned the car in maybe six or so months. Anyway, you can look at that video. But... I thought this is an opportunity for me to set up another appointment and then throw in the full self-driving 3.0 hardware, right? Well, no. Once again, denied, right? Um, I'll, I'll put the text up here, but uh, reviewing upcoming service appointment, 3.0 hardware retrofit, retrofit is slowly rolling out to all S and X owners and will expand over time to include the Model 3. Currently, your specific VIN is not yet in the range in which we can pour from the upgrade. Once we're upgraded, it's included on the next service visit with an additional concern. So once it is available, it will be included on your next service visit with an additional concern. So that actually um, is, that concerns me, right? Because now you have to have something else uh that you need to bring the car in for in order for them to upgrade your uh, hardware to 3.0. I don't know if that's true. Maybe they just kind of put that in there. Maybe I could if it was the right time for me to get this upgrade. 
and I made a service appointment for it, maybe they would put it in. I don't know. But that part kind of bothers me because, I mean, I not that these cars are perfect, but I really don't have any other problems aside from that condensation thing. And I don't want to bring my car in. Now I'm saving. What I'm doing now is I'm saving this condensation issue for uh, when I can, for that time frame when I can get my Model 3 or Hardware 3.0 put in. So in another month, I'm going to try again, right? And say I need this uh, pillar fixed camera and I'd like hardware 3.0. If they tell me no, I'm going to cancel the appointment again and make it again for later. So in other words, this issue is not going to get fixed um, because I need to save an issue. I need to save problems, uh, fixing problems on my car just so I can get hardware 3.0. Again, I don't know if that's true and you have to have that or not, but if so, it's a bit of a bummer. I'm not too happy about that. So that's it. Um, probably the last time that uh, I will update. I just got to get these videos out. This has been going on for a month or two. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.